What's going on? Tectonic Edge here. Playing against the Lurus deck from Woke of it. Playing some Mono Green Tron though. Gonna mulligan this hand because I don't think it's gonna get there, obviously. Got some Mochi. Of course my cat decides to go after the carpet. Mulligan that. One Tron land. Gonna keep mulliganing. Mochi. Oh no, he's looking at me like I did something wrong. They'll keep digging. Hopefully two Tron lands in the expedition map. That is what we need. Two cards on the bottom. I like this hand. I like having the big threat. I think we're going to go like this. He's scratching a carpet. Me. Mess around with that for a second. Okay. You're a loud little kitty, aren't you? All right. So, yeah, we're against a quick deck that may be a little problematic. And I'm distracted by my cat. Two Karns, not the best. Turn three, I guess we did know we were against a fast deck here with Alaris. Yeah, I think we're in a rough patch. I'd rather have a Worm Coral Engine at this point. Depends on how many creatures they're going to have. Oh, possible green in the deck. So this could be a Jund build, potentially. Some of those do occasionally run the Prowess Suite, but also Tarmogoy for the longer games. That is perfectly fine. Which card do they want to put back? Do they want to put Kozilek back in my deck or take one of the cards? They're going to take a Karn because Kozilek would just shovel back into my deck. And I can't play it. Likely at any point during this game. These are quick games. Ooh, but we are potentially in a good spot here. Walking Ballista is nice. A little extra sound. Air condition just cut on. We have Tron. We may go for the Walking Ballista. It depends on if they play another threat here or not. Alright, they've got a Mishra's Bobble. Lightning Bolt. Second Lightning Bolt. Well, that is a good bit of damage. And leaves us in a scary spot. They get to know the top card. Not that it matters because we shuffled that away here. Second mine, all right. We're gonna play this out. Take the opportunity to kill this and still be left with a blocker. Three life is rough though. I don't like being at three life against a deck with this many lightning bolts. Who's going to have two cards next turn? If they get a burn spell, we're just dead. A uh, haste creature we can block. If they get a land. And a Mishra's Bobble. All right. They are digging for that Lightning Bolt. Ooh, probably digging... See if they grab the Lurus here into turn. Nope, just going for a card in hand.
Hmm. That is tempting. What do we want to do here? We'll take that card out of their hand. All right, it was a forest. This is still a very close game. They just have to draw a lightning bolt and they have us. Or they don't draw it. Okay, well, hmm. Potentially a little soon, uh, because I didn't have a direct way to kill them. They had enough, at least one more draw, but we'll take it. What do we want in this matchup? Swarm coils are good. None of our extra spells really help. We don't really want to bring anything out of the wishboard. So yeah, we pretty much just run the deck as is. Quick mulligan here. Blast zone is not what we want to see, especially for a quick game. Ooh. Nope. One land is not going to be a keepable hand either. Nor is two forest. Hmm. Nor is that no green deck. But we are going to have to keep this because we're out of options. Ancient Stirring is probably our best bet. We are likely losing this game. So we'll have to make it up in game three. Maybe could have kept a little differently. I guess I don't need the Chromatic Star. But I kind of want the extra draw. And hope for a Tron land. Not a Tron land. All right, well, we're gonna play a little risky here. Play the Chromatic Star. They could have a artifact removal. It doesn't really affect us too much since at this point it'd be color filtering. We'd still draw our card. But we are about to play out our whole hand. And we have no real prospects for Tron land, so we are really hoping to draw a Tron land. Turn four Tron on the draw against a fast deck like this is a recipe for disaster. We are not in a good spot. And they are playing a little bit more on the offensive side. That card is, so yeah, maybe not peer prowess. I guess I should have guessed that by the green, but that will be a quick finisher if we don't have an answer for it. And hopefully a Tron land. Not a Tron land. Ancient Stirrings. Well, we'll take a tower because we already know one tower is going to be at the bottom. Usually I don't like getting the tower first. But with one extra on the bottom, it's going to be the hardest to find. Especially since our next card is going to be Roots of Wisdom. We're about to take a good bit of damage here if they have any lightning bolts. Yeah, that's a good card. Oh, Thought Seize is rough. There goes the Roots of Wisdom. Potentially the Walking Ballista, but I think at this point they... Okay. So they're more worried about us having threats than us trying to get Tron. And we're about to have about one turn to find an answer. Yeah, no, we're pretty much dead. Crack for green. Well, let's see what we can find. Here's an Urza's Mine. Play this and concede the match for, because of that 8 8.
game three, do we do anything really differently? No. Yeah, our sideboard really doesn't. We'd rather have the Karn Great Creators to fetch something. I, if you notice there, I am running a little light on Karn Great Creators in this deck. This is more because I'm testing out new cards. Hmm. It's tempting, but it's not Tron, so we mulligan. That's a little more potential, though. That's at least an Ancient Stirring, so I will keep that. Plus Blast Zone. I like Blast Zone in this matchup. Especially on the play, where we might get a chance to crack it. So we'll start off Power Plant, Chromatic Sphere. It'll be two draws, plus an Ancient Stirring. So top seven cards, potentially eight with that second Chromatic Sphere. I guess top nine, really. Uh, because we'll have our draw next turn and that second chromatic spare crack. Although that would be rough. All right, that's not the Tron land we are looking for. Crack for green, that is the Tron land we are looking for. Shit stirrings. We'll take a Nugan. Still a few turns away from playing it, though, which will be rough. They didn't get the turn one attack in, though, so that might be helpful. Although, they still kept a full seven. Hmm. Potentially rough. Thoughtseize here. We're going to be digging with the Chromatic Sphere next turn, hoping to find something. Okay, they have Assassin's Trophy. That's a decent way, but it doesn't affect us too much because right now our threat is Ugin, and that's still a turn four play no matter what we did. Oh, play the tower. Crack for green, like we're going to do something. Run out the 1-1 one, one Walking Ballista just so we ha have look like we're not really set up for anything. And potentially give them a target to go after. They're still going to go lightning bolt me. Interesting. Into a skyclave. All right. That works out pretty well for us because we're just going to run out Nugan. And deal three here. I might have been a little more tempted to minus. No reason to attack here. We'd rather have the blocker and I'm at their life total. We're going to win with an overwhelming board presence at this point. Uh, we'll use Congregate Creator next turn. I might, uh, or they're just going to scoop to that. All right. So the plan was going to be Congregate Creator up the Ugin to try and get to the ultimate, uh, make them target that. Uh, of course, pull out something nice with Congregate Creator. Possibly another Walking Ballista. Or, yeah, Walking Ballista would have been the likely choice. Just put a little more pressure on them, make them have more things to answer. Had I not drawn the Karn, I would have been... Uh, no, nah, probably about the same plan. Just would have gone for the Blast Zone. I guess... the Getting on the theory side, uh, the other thing I could have done is... Um, you, Ugin, Lightning Bolt, into an Ugin, Lightning Bolt. But I don't want to give up that chance of an ultimate, and I don't like having the backup Ugin in hand. So not really the best plan there. But yeah, uh, Blast Zone was going to be good backup, too, because they have a lot of one-drops. So this, uh, this is Tron versus the Jump Prowess matchup. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. And I was going to grab uh, Mochi and put him on camera, but he has left the building. So 
Thank you for watching Tectonic Edge, signing out.